Hello everybody, this is the start of a public interest video and I just want to show you the inside of this particular outdoor meter box. Now we've all seen these little keys that go into these very insecure locks. Yep, you've probably all got one. And for any of you that have one of these, I would check inside. You see, this is the main power coming in. And this is a security closed fuse system. And here is the meter. Everything after the meter is the household's concern. So this is the electricity company. This is the electricity company. This is the household concern. Now the problem with this here, being here, is if I were to switch that off, that turns off all the power into the dwelling. Any security system you may have, useless. Your fridge freezer, it's gonna go off. If you've got door, ring bell, cameras, anything like that, if you go away for a couple of weeks and you wanna check up inside your home, forget it. It can all just be switched off from here. Very publicly accessed, very easily accessed. And the only reason that that's there is because between the councils and the people who allow these buildings to be built, they've decided that it saves a few quid with these wires. Their argument is, if something were to happen, we don't want to be responsible for these wires. So we're quite happy to put this here, because that means anything after this. Now this and these wires is now the dwelling's responsibility. Rather than just run these tails up into the dwelling and then fit one of these inside, where quite a few of you will have these inside still, but there's going to be many of you that don't. And like I say, all you got to do is have somebody know you've gone away for a couple of weeks on holiday or in for a week. They can just come along. If nothing else, just flick it off. And now you, everything in your fridge freezer is lost. Your timers have to be redone. If you've got cameras so you can keep an eye on there, maybe you've got some Alexa devices, Echoes or whatever, you're not going to be able to see through them. And worse than that, of course, then they can break into your place because even if you've got an alarm system, switching that off will render it useless. I just thought I'd let you know because there's plenty of out yet, how plenty of people out there are in this vulnerable situation and it's just to save a few quid on money. Your security doesn't matter, a few pound on money does. I think it's something that should be pointed out and if there are other ones like that, I think they should be adjusted. But it's just who does it? Absolutely. So, of course, um, it, is, it is literally just the, obviously, the energy itself that we provide you mm -hmm. and the meter itself yeah. that well, it, we are in charge of. Yeah, I mean, there's a breaker fuse there before the meter, so if you need to work on the meter, you can be safe. Absolutely understandable. Yeah, and, of course. And up to the meter, but after the meter, that is for this building isn't it to be taken care of whether it be a landlord whether it be yes. me privately it's for this right i i, I knew that and um that, that's good that's good that's that's all just, Go on. it's just a different company that are obviously arguing that uh well um i mean it's it the dodge group is supposed to take care of this building electrically and they're yeah. the ones who are arguing it and all I want really is something to say no, and to just agree with me that everything after the meter is the responsibility of the person who owns the building. Agreed. It is indeed. Mm, well, that's because, say, say for example, uh, say for example, you didn't have smart meters uh -huh. and you wanted one, and he said no. Would that be up to him? No. That's the thing. It's one of those where. People would like to make the rules that obviously benefit 